Oh boy. That's not good. Alright, let me close this. <laughs> I, I guess my computer is just degrading. Because I used to be able to have a couple things open while I stream, and now it's kind of starting to lose that ability. This seems to be working, I think? Let me see what happens if I open this. Alright, seems to be a little better. Closing one of my browsers, uh... Seem to work. I actually keep two browsers open. I keep, um... Or I usually keep... I keep Firefox closed, and I keep Edge open, and I know people are kind of going to be like, ah, oh, Edge, I was using that crappy thing, which is like Internet Explorer 2. It's actually a lot less system intensive than Firefox, so I use that for uh, the chat, and usually it doesn't suck up too many resources, but I also had Firefox open because I had something important on it that I hadn't used. I'm gonna just restore it once I, uh, once I'm done with the stream, if I remember. Oh, I hope I remember, because otherwise it's gonna be a pain getting that shit back. It's still giving me rip, uh, the bits. It's still giving me blips here. I don't know what's causing that either. It says my CPU usage is down. My frame rate's at a solid 30. And my kilobytes per second. It's, it's top. It's not dropping. I haven't dropped any frames. Alright, anyway, last time. Uh, we went to the Kingdom of Zeal. And then we got banned from it. For taking nudes in the shower, I guess. Um, this time, we gotta find a way to get back there. Uh, at the end of last stream, I went to 600 AD. And checked a bunch of boxes, but didn't open any of them. And now, I am planning on doing that here, in 1000 AD, and taking the items, then going back to 600 AD, and taking the items again. So, like, that chest was the one that was over here, originally, at the end of this path. Oh, I can't even go this way. <laughs> They block it off. But yeah, by checking it in 600 AD, and then coming back here in 1000 AD, it's actually a better item. And then I could go back to 600 AD and get the lesser item from it. It's all very, uh... time loopy. Now we want to go to Medina. So, uh, let's see, where are the boxes? I believe there's one in the inn here. Where the fuck that is? There it is. Blue vest powers up. Found blue mail. So, see, that's gonna be kind of the thing that happens from here on out. Um... Once you find, yeah, once you find all of them, you could go back and get the blue vest from 600 AD. But you knew that already, come on. Anyway, that's gonna be the kind of beginning of the stream here, just getting those chests.
Pretty nice weather today. Been 80 degrees in New Jersey, which is not unheard of in May. Not terribly common, though. It's definitely usually on the cooler side in May around here. Looking at the stream diagnostics and nothing is going on. It, it, it's like... I have no clue what's causing that. Also, I should take off my glasses, I don't like wearing them when I'm streaming. I'm close enough to the screen that I don't need them anyway. Also, I just realized I'm sitting way too uh, far from the mic, probably, so I might not be coming in too loudly. Princess Nadia! I've been worried, Princess! I understand your pain, but the king really only cares about his realm. Yes, even when your mother, Queen Eliza, passed away, he worked all day. No one could do that. It's inhuman. Oh, child, it's ancient history. Nah. Alright, hold on. Let me pull up the task manager. Oh, no, what happened? Oh god. Alright, um... OBS, 17%. Microsoft Protection Platform Service. What? What is that? SNES 9X, desktop... Man, I have Discord running and it uses like nothing. Alright, now OBS is on the top. Software Protection Platform Service. What the fuck is that? Can I close that? Oh, wait, it dropped. Never mind, I can't close that. Well, that's good. Microsoft Edge content process. What the fuck is that? And I just got rid of the search bar by accident. And it's back. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, Windows 10. You are fun to deal with. Alright, if I close this, uh, the stream might get disrupted heavily. Let's see what happens. Uh, and it closed the stream chat. But kept it but then reloaded it immediately. So, there you go. Oh my god, why, why did that happen? Hold on, window size. Does it look alright on the screen? Kinda looks blurry on my end. Alright, I'm just gonna close uh, this then. Troubleshooting the stream. Oh my god, close.
Well, my CPU usage just jumped up to 60. Still, though, I fucking... Man, this computer is just... It's depressing. And there goes the screen again. this for a while. Really sorry for the delay there. Let me just take a sip and we'll get right back to this. Oh man, this water's actually a little too warm. I've been drinking room temperature water to get used to doing that during voice acting, but oh man, it's a little, a little too hot today. Oh child, it's ancient history now. Tell me more. This may be difficult. Well, Clean Eliza's condition suddenly changed for the worst. She desperately wanted to see the king one last time, but he couldn't find the time to drop by. Said he had some work to do, but knowing nothing about death, you waited faithfully by your mother's side. Eliza passed away in sorrow, as if the king indirectly killed her. Such a shame. What? Father killed my mother? But what do I know? There are reasons for everything, right, dear? Now, so glad to see you again. Please go and visit the king. And ignore the fact that we were chasing after Chrono and his team before. Since it is our 1000th anniversary, the king has, for the time being, ordered probation for Chrono. The king awaits the return of his daughter. Due to the king's orders, the court is adjourned. We're about to begin celebrating, but with the king like that... Getting ready for the Millennial Fair. It's still doing it? Come on! The chef's ancestor had a cook-off with Magus' troops. Hey, don't come in here without permission. Hey, sorry about that. The old lady's handling the kitchen. Gotta tread softly around here. But the gist of this is that she can cook. But she can yell, too. I really don't know why this computer's like slowing down during streams. It's extremely depressing. It's lecocked, alright. To be put on trial again or something? I believe that locked chest comes uh, into play later on. It is indeed a plot device of some sort. Wait a sec. Okay, good. Mr. Pierre waits downstairs. Who? Oh. I'm your lawyer, Pierre. The king has been so gloomy since Princess Nadia's disappearance. Listening to my story, he has concluded that it was not a kidnapping. It's taken time, but I think he understands. Still, the Chancellor's acting weird. He may give us some trouble. The Chancellor hired all those soldiers that worked in the jail. Say something. I heard the Chancellor really gave it to the King in court. Those jail guardians were an odd bunch. We got cold stares from them. It's like they weren't even human. The Chancellor lost it right around the time he ordered that dragon tank to be built. Hmm. Interesting. The Chancellor's acting a little funny, eh? 
wonder what that could mean. Only the Chancellor thought Chrono was guilty. Without Princess Nadia, the castle's dead. That's kind of a... I think a mean thing to say. I mean, the king's still here. Come, Princess Nadia! Oh, Nadia. What do you want? I'm not giving in to your demands. It's your fault for leaving the castle. And I let those... And letting these hoodlums in here. You might as well beg for bread on the street corner. Stop it, they're my friends. They're a disgrace to this family. Father, you, you, you care more about your country than me. You, you care more about your country than me, or mother. What? You, you killed my mother. Get out of here this instant. I never want to see your face again. Good riddance. We're no longer family. Do as you wish. As I twinkled. Oh, woe is me! <laughs> I too hope Princess Nadia returns. She's, she's right here. Princess Nadia is a dead ringer for her mother. That's why the king's so strict with her. I'm in charge of her physical education. I'm in charge of discipline, and she's missed almost every lesson this year. I'm in charge of the princess's education. One thing I like about the DS version of Chrono Trigger, uh, auto run. You don't, you do not need to hold down a button to run. So I got the red, the blue, the black, and the white male. The king is deeply concerned about Princess Nadia, but being a king, he keeps it all locked up inside. After his wife's death, he only lived for Princess Nadia. I've got nothing to say! I got nothing to say aside from that burger I had for dinner. It was really good. I should probably, uh, equip some stuff. Red, blue, black, white. So, they're all pretty beefy armor, but they also can make you immune to an element. So, red is fire, blue is water and ice, black is shadow, and white is lightning. Which, I guess the implication is that lightning is supposed to be, like, holy. So, yeah. Um... I would say cover our weaknesses. So blackmail for Chrono. Red mail for Marl. Blue mail for Luca. And then who's got the lowest after that? Ayla, who has no magic. So we'll just give her the white mail. So 
So she and Chrono are on equal ground here. Huh. Dark Mail and Ruby Vest work exactly the same, but Ruby Give Vest uh, cuts fire damage, so... But now if I want to, I could go to the past and get those items again, the weaker versions, and then just sell that for extra money. Miss any ch chests? No. However, there is something I think I could do here if I remember correctly. Buy another jerky and then give it to the king. I think that uh, kind of does it like an optional little scene for this quest regarding uh, the king. Every every character has their own side quest, and you can't actually finish them until later. But uh, you could start the king's one now, which is what the whole conversation I just had was about. Oh, we're dingling. Give the king a present. He's been known to love jerky. I've got nothing to say. W what's that? Your favorite. For me? Let's see. What? What is it, sir? How dare you! Giving me something this rich when you know I have high cholesterol! But it's your favorite! This is the last straw! Now I know how you really feel! Father, no! Leave! Now! Never show your face here again! Father! Oh, you can get back in here easily. <laughs> so essentially, the Chancellor told me to give him the jerky, and it backfired for whatever reason. Do I still have the jerky now as a result of that? No, it actually gets rid of it. Taban items? Tabin? Is it Tabin or Taban?
All right, time to go back to 600 AD and get those chests again. <laughs> and then we'll continue the story. If I'm not mistaken, the weaker versions of the items have less defense, and I believe they also only cut damage by 50%, like the Ruby Vest, as opposed to just outright uh, nulling the damage. vest. I believe if you take it from the future without checking it, you just get two of that item. So you get the blue vest in the future and the blue vest in the past. But if you check it in the past, then it becomes the blue male and yada yada yada. You know, you know how it works. I've already explained it. So blue vest is actually pretty weak. Well, it's stronger than the tab and vest, but it's not as good as the male. And it also, again, only absorbs 50% as opposed to 100. Uh, this here is another side quest that we could theoretically do now, but probably nowhere near strong enough to complete it. My husband, Marco, was finally home. I, I'm so relieved. Don't worry, I'm home for good. The desert monsters are draining the life out of the soil here. This mystic seedling could revive the forest, but I can't plant it. Too many hungry monsters lurking about. Monsters in the desert cave hate water, but I can't defeat them by myself. So a couple things to note. She has a seedling, and if you remember, back in uh, 1200 BC or 12,000 BC, I convinced someone not to throw away a seedling because it was important to them. Uh, the inn doesn't have anything. Should be the white and the black, uh, vest now. And after I go to the castle, we'll get the red vest. See how well these uh, work on the other party members because there's two here that don't have a male 
have a color mail on. So the, it's the same strength as the Ruby Vest, and they absorb 50%. So I'll give him the white one, just because he's Shadow Element, technically. What about the Mesomail? Nah, no, it's weaker. By a little bit. Again, these vests might not necessarily be too useful because they might get outclassed in terms of defense. But if I'm in a challenge where I'm having trouble with uh, an elemental attack, I might want to consider equipping it. In fact, I probably just shouldn't sell them at all. I should just hold on to them. escapade over for now, which I don't think we're done either, because there's more chests on the part of the world map that we can't get to yet in both eras. Uh, alright, we gotta figure out which one's which here. This is where we found Robo. We don't want to be at this one. We want to go to Bangor Dome. And it begins to glow. Charm top, full ether, and a wallet. Interesting. Turns experience into gold. Well, that's neat, I guess. Charm top, charm power up. So that's for Ayla? Ayla has charm. There it is. Steal from enemy. Probably not too useful. And what was the other thing I got? Shit. It was a full ether. It was just an item. Gold stud, full ether, and a tab. Magic tab. MP use cut by 75%. That is actually extremely useful. Uh, someone should equip it. Probably Chrono, honestly. Plus one. Wait, that makes his speed max? Really? His max speed's 16? I guess that stat's really low.
anyway, uh... Yeah, we'll drop his magic down and... Wait, what, what gives him 27? Magic plus 6. Oh, I forgot about the rings. Power plus 6. Ooh. Those will be, uh, useful. But I will give him the gold stud. Uh, he can't really equip anything different. He's already slow as shit anyway. In the power ring. And I will give... Luca the magic ring, or Marl the magic ring. Light up my life. No, really. What's this? A plant? What's that? Never seen anything like this. They got through the ruins. I brought the sapling that sprang from that seed. Amazing what you could do when you think you're gonna expire. No. This edible? So there are people in Aris Dome too. Got any cash? Oh. Well, this is new stuff, I think. No, never mind. It's all weak as shit. I go through lab 16, but I guess I have no choice. I could go around and go through lab 32, but I really don't want to. This is quicker overall. And dealing with lo losing a few tonics is fine, I guess. to figure out what the fuck's causing that to happen. Yep, now Lightning 2 only costs uh, 2 MP for Chrono. when that started happening and it's really upsetting me because it's removing the, the fun I'm having from streaming by making me frustrated. If it gets bad I'm gonna not be able to stream anymore and that's not really what I want to happen.
don't know if there's a door here. Doesn't look like it. I don't know if there's one underground here, though. I can't remember. Oh, there is. There's one all the way in the back. I remember now. Shit, that was the day of lava thing. Fuck. Yeah, we've seen this already. And that just shows where the other dome is. But yes, there is a door here. Lumen robe, elixir, hit ring, gold earring, and a power tab. Gold earring, max HP up by 50%. Hit ring, strike plus 10. That's probably good for Luca and Moro. And black rock. Oh, wait, no, I have black rock already. What was the other thing I had? The Lumen Robe. Magic Defense plus five. It appears to be female only, and it's not as good as the males, so... By that I mean the M-A-I-L. The, the... Not the... Not the M... I... Whatever. The Magic Defense is really good, though. Anyway, Luca, we'll get rid of Third Eye. That's useful because it lets you see the HP, but it's not necessary. Uh, we will give her the Hit Ring. Because that raises her attack power. Wow. Her attack power is actually still pretty shit. That is unfortunate. I really hope I could get that fixed before uh, June, because I do not want to be streaming Mega Man Battle Network 3 with that kind of constant bullshit.
Hey fellas, look, the seed sprouted. Since you've come, we've gained the courage to live. Anyway, time to actually go through the sewer access now. It's kind of weird, like, this is the first time you would ever have to go through this, storyline-wise, but... You're pretty much way overpowered for it by the time you're able to reach it in the first place. The professor's programming was, in a sense, his own eulogy. Soon I, too, will be able to sleep forever. But first, there is one thing I must do. Program error. My memory banks have failed. Oh. Shimmers. Huh? To those who open the door, I am Balthazar, the guru of reason. I once lived in the kingdom of Zeal. A great disaster in Zeal somehow threw me into this era. To my surprise, Lavos exists here, and I suspect in other periods as well. Aeons ago, Lavos descended from the heavens. Burrowing deep into the world's core, he began to consume our planet's energy and grow stronger. Lavos disappeared briefly when he was summoned away by a mighty wizard who lived in Guardia in the year 600. In 1999, Lavos claims the area and reigns from high atop Death Peak. Lavos continues to replicate like a giant parasite. He's consuming our world. Forced to live here, I continue to con Forced to live here, I continue to conduct research on Lavos. But I am growing old, and it's impossible to keep sane in such trying times. So before I lose it completely, I shall safeguard my data and my ultimate creation. How long to return how I long to return home. But I have grown frail. So you, you who have opened the door, I leave things in your hands. Only by mastering time itself do you stand a chance against Lavos. The odds will be against you, but you are true heroes. The world is in your hands. Open now the last door and take what you find there. My last invention. My wings of time. Check this shit out. This must be the invention Balthazar spoke of. Balthazar, excuse me. Wow, this is amazing. How do you tell the front from the back? Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar. I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Anyway, there's something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Press the Y button for the time gauge, and use the L and R buttons to select an error. Oh yeah, before you go, why don't you... Name my time machine. And we are going to just call it the Epoch, because that's a cool name. Hop aboard! 
Instructions for the time machine are as fu Yeah, no, we know already. And Professor's message. Mumble, mumble. Take off or get off? Ooh, that's the eternal question right there. I do both. So you cannot go to the area you're in already. Also, if you go to Apocalypse, you're automatically going to the boss fight. Traveling at warp speed. Epoch's capable of this? Full speed ahead or disembark. So now you get to use this little alcove here. Hey. Interesting. So he actually finished the Wings of Time. In fact, gave his life for it. Why not put that device to good use? Take it to the ancient land of magic. Come see me anytime. Think of me as your guide. I believe if you go back to the future now. Huh? I believe if you go to the future now, uh... He's, like, dead. Or maybe not. Ah, oh, it must be later. I don't know where this takes you in these other eras. I think near Medina Village. Well, that just takes you near the coast. Which is interesting, because that does not match up with where the place is in, uh, 2300. I don't think, at least. Certainly is here. I guess it is the same spot in all time periods. But not in Apocalypse, because that takes you right to the boss fight. Also, the shadow underneath the uh, dactyl uh, glows too. Yeah, it's weird. You're on the other continent if you go to 1999. Yeah, we're not fighting this thing now. Chrono, what do we do? Run away for now. And now we get a, uh, we get a nice, ominous heartbeat noise. Anyway, let's go to 12,000 BC, which is the Dark Ages, which I really, I don't, I, I wouldn't call it the Dark, I would call it the Dark Ages after what's about to happen, but not now. In the DS version, they rename it Antiquity, which I feel is a much better name overall. Hey, what the fuck do I know? Can we not do that? Yeah, we kind of are in the same spot on this map, too. Too, I was about to say two. Two. The power is sealed. So, they really don't want us coming back to the point where they stop anyone from using the portals, which must make uh, getting around Zeal very difficult.
I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot about this part of the game. I thought you would go straight back to Zeal now, but you don't. I believe we're about to head into like a three dungeon kinda deal here. Slatter's down now. This is Al Getty, the village of the Earthbound Ones. The Earthbound Ones lack magical powers. That's why we were banished from Zeal. Wanna buy something? Uh, oh, alright. Flash blade. Wait, the the the, 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 the Masamuni isn't actually his strongest weapon. I think you gotta power it up. That's why I'm not going to uh, get that for him though. This I will. Flash mail. Glow helm. Whoa! I don't want two of those. of an upgrade. Wait, I have a better armor. Hold on. I guess these. <coughs> oh, sorry. That was that was real sudden. Uh oh. I think I may be a little uh. There we go. There we go. Hey, most of our money back. Many inhabitants of this land were taken to the Ocean Palace to build it, and were never seen again. Let me, uh, I didn't look at the regular items. Uh, ether? Nah, we can't really need to buy ethers. I will, however, take a smathering of mid tonics with me. Just buy three ethers to even that out a bit. The queen put the mammon machine in the ocean palace to absorb Lavos's energy. Is that safe? She locked the Guru of Life up on the Mountain of Woe for opposing her. The situation's hopeless. Guru of Life said that Sir Janus has stronger powers than even Miss Shala. Janus must be using her and the Queen to get to Lavos. Why? Why is Janus trying to get to Lavos? Please explain. I wonder when Miss Shala is going to come and play with us. Now only the three gurus and Mishala treat us as equals. The beast nest is dangerous. Better stay away, okay? Spend the night? God, no. Long ago, the enlightened ones and the earthbound ones lived as one. Yeah, fine. Ugh. The 
slow down. What is wrong with my computer? This hole leads to the beast's nest. Through the nest you'll reach the place of chains, which anchors the mountain of woe. Our hero, the guru of life, rejected the queen's plan, so he was banished to the mountain of woe. Power tab. It's the first battle. Oh no, it isn't actually the first battle. I was gonna say, um, these are the first random enemy. Well, not even random because again they're set. The first, it's the first battle that you could actually have to win of this uh, era. They are definitely, uh, a little tough. <clears throat> I really don't know why that's happening. happening like more often too regardless of the program I'm using so I don't know what that's about let me um rendering top pause when I, I don't think any of these matter I don't think it's the um, the emulator more beasts There's like an imp up here. Yeah, an imp and some enemies. Canonically, this is the first appearance of the imp. You can't pass through here. Mud imp. These guys are going to make short work of us. Oh, they really love going after her. Chrono know a healing spell now that hits everyone. Oh no, it's life. All right, never mind.
Yikes. Ah, oh, cool. Rondo takes a uh, double dose of that. Can we stop with the chrono abuse here? Good lord, how much health do these things have? A chance I might not win this actually. Really, still okay. Really not in a good position here. Oh my god, and the slowdown is just driving me insane. I don't know what the problem is. And Chrono is down. Because for some reason they get to attack multiple times. Well, okay. Cool. What? I don't do that. Probably just supposed to go after the imp first, and it's not like putting a dent in the rest of them. I mean, you would think that blue one would go down by now with how much I've been wailing on it. And Maul's down. And they healed again. Hmm.
Okay, so that's not good either? Alright, what am I supposed to do here? Because this boss is definitely way harder than it should be. Forty-three damage. Okay. All right. Never mind. We're good. We're we're good. Yeah, we're dying. We're taking a dirt nap here. Never mind, didn't even get a chance to uh, get the mid-tonic on her. And she's already back down. Revive and immediately take her down. I hate how revives only revive you with 50 HP in this game. Mmm... See, I'm getting so frustrated right now with all this. Because I'm losing. The stream's not acting right. It's just not a good time overall. And it's really upsetting to deal with. And I healed the wrong person. Well, whatever. Marl needed it anyway. Okay. Time to uh, figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do here. Okay, thank Christ. One of them is finally down. You can stop healing any time you want. Really, stop doing that. <laughs> no, seriously. Fucking stop. Yeah, time to just wail on the beasts. Or singular beast now, I guess. I probably made this way harder than I needed it to be.
Alright, so physicals don't work on him. This, however, will totally fuck his day up. <sighs> the amount of contempt I just feel every fucking time. That, that, like, I hear the grinding halt of this computer for whatever reason. It's just... my... Uh, unbearable. Hey, I won. So this is the Mountain of Woe, it's high up in the sky, and if I recall, there are enemies here that are very annoying. There are some that will disable your techs, there are some that cannot, just cannot be beaten without pure luck, but drop a lot of experience, and um, if I recall, this area is not too small, so... Also, it's cloudy and kind of hard to see and annoying. Perhaps we will switch out someone here. Get the whole gang in on this, except for Ayla. Because she's already overleveled as it is. Here we go, lock all. Can't use text or items. So these enemies... Will, you'll whiff on them often. Though apparently not so much here. <laughs> but they drop by, yeah, a thousand experience points and a hundred tech points. So this is a good place to grind for techs right now. <laughs> but they have high evade. There's a heavy chance of you missing them. I just got really lucky there and got them twice in a row. Yep, there we go. There's a whiff. There's another whiff. You essentially have to keep attacking until it runs away, I believe. Or you kill it. Load Helm. It's a fair bit better.
really lucky there. Frog learned water too. Neat. It's slightly better than water one. Actually, no, two is always good, because two is the uh, hit all. Hit owl. place for a save point. The guru on Mount Whoa. Oh, like Mount Whoa, please stop glitching. Or stop chugging or whatever. I just fucking I just wanna play my game. Barrier, which I'd never use. Bantam Imp. What that means. I probably should know what that means. It's not good that I don't. Please stop. This is the way I was supposed to go, which means I have to go back. I have to go back, Kate. We were never supposed to get off the island. Or mountain. Island. Mountain thing. Why did I leave Frog in the party? He just learned a new technique. I should have kept uh, Robo in, or put Ayla in, and let her soak up some of that sweet tech point. Fun learn confused, learn dual tech ice toss. I should just let you see their shit here. 
Ice 2, 59 skill points, 236, 199, 151. I probably should just have Luca and Marl stay in the party. Wow, this fucking imp. Holy shit. So you can't kill the enemy at once. You have to beat the bird, then beat the imp. So chrono critting it doesn't really do anything. Continuous tech, HP goes down to one. That's cool. Now I gotta waste my turn healing, but whatever. Nope, never mind. They're just gonna flat out kill her. To make life a little worse for me. Ooh, perfect. And whiff. And whiff. And whiff. And one hit, which won't be enough. Two hits. Get lucky? Nope. Man, Marl's speed is awful. Chrono gets to go twice in the time it takes her to get one turn. Ice Sword. A load vest and a shield. Cuts physical hits by one third. Okay. Oh, I had a power tab and I never realized it. Fucking menus. Again, used to the uh, 3D or the DS menus, which are way easier to use. Wow, Frog's damage is not very good. I probably should have gotten him that sword. <laughs> Once Frog does his side quest, though, you don't need to worry about it, because Frog's side quest, uh, hypercharges the Masamune. Was the other thing I got a load vest? It is slightly better than the males. Frustrating. Very frustrating.
We're good. We're whiffing. We're taking a whiff of that rubble. Understand, like the stream, the CPU usage is fairly low. I'm not dropping frames, that's not the problem. I just don't know why. It, well, I don't know. Actually, the CPU usage does kind of spike a bit. Maybe I just gotta lower that. I can try to see if I can maybe do that now. You're gonna see a shrunken screen for a little bit. So let's see, OBS, can't close that, can't close SNES. Windows the audio device graph isolation. CTF flow. Wait, wait, now it's all like not active. So you gotta see what causes a spike. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. Put that shit on full size. Wait, what? Oh. There we go. How's it look? There's like a black bar at the bottom of the screen now. Is that supposed to be there? I'm not liking that. Not too happy with that. Microsoft Software Protection Platform Service is really uh, soaking up memory here. It doesn't look like anything spiked on here, though. That, uh, man, you know. You know... Autosave SRAM? I doubt it's the SRAM saving. Let's save. Close it out. Reload it. The screen's still kind of fucky. I don't know what that's about. Were all my streams like that and I just didn't notice? Or, or what's what's going on there? Maybe it's a setting on OBS that's, like, kind of draining too much energy. Because I did fuck with it back uh, in January a bit. Why is it, uh... There we go. No, it's just still chugging. But it definitely got worse as time went on. Maybe if I update OBS... I'll work on that tonight. I'll see what's going on and, and see if I could fix it, maybe.
Oh, good. They're both berserk. And now Robo's berserk, but Chrono isn't. Pluck them one at a time. Or not. You know what, maybe if I lower the qual the quality of the recording a bit. Because I don't need 720p when I'm streaming. Especially since I only stream older games. Maybe now it's just becoming too much for this computer to handle. Uzi Punch, that's a good move. I believe that is a good single target spell. Robo would hit that. A shield and a shelter. Just like a shit and a shave, a shit and a shave and a shower. Shit, a shave, a shield, a shelter, and a shower. Area bomb, damage enemy with melt beam. Melt beam. Oh, that was a shit friggin' ah fuck. I can't believe I've done that. here. Oh, they do still gain experience. Luca Robo Chrono. That sounds good. Oh no, we're not done yet. Okay. I thought we were at the end of the dungeon. Apparently this is only the halfway mark. Time hat. Prevents stop and slow. Interesting.
I don't want to take the uh, tab and helm off because that gives her a lot of magic defense. And it's not really worth plus five to that. Yeah, I lose five defense technically. Who's the second lowest then? Frog and Robo. Frog needs it more. Full ether. Oh, maybe this is the end. Ooh, tab. Looks like the Guru of Time is chilling out. Or the Guru of Life. The Guru of Life's trapped in here. What's happening? Oh boy. Giga Gaia. I believe the gimmick here is that you have to destroy both arms. Ooh, nice. Not so nice. Thankfully, Robo has multi-heal. Which is really useful. I, don't, I feel like Marl gets outclassed because both Robo and Frog get multi-heal. a shadow and a fire attack. Yeah! There's a technique right there. Okay, that's an HP and half technique, so that's never gonna kill you. So doesn't that thing in the center of the Giga Gaia look a little suggestive? Looks a little bit like a dick. Oh, why didn't I bring Marl who had the red vest on? Actually, that didn't do too much damage. <laughs> Sword commencing arm restoration. No, 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 don't do that. Nice. Oh, 
This is good. We're doing about 2,000 damage per turn now. Okay, well, that fun's over. You know what, though? It might be worth just powering through it, because the defense arm only restores 250 health. Whereas I'm doing... a thousand damage. is down, so we will revive. Ah, I should use the fucking thing. Physical defense. Ugh. I, I might be in trouble here. She's dead. Oh, they're both dead. Okay, cool. So this is over. I'm probably not winning this now. Maybe... I don't know. I might be in better shape now than before. Thank Christ. Oh, yes, a triple tech. Nice fire zone.
It's our buddy Melchior. Melchior? Indeed, I am Melchior. Have we... met before? More importantly, can you tell me anything about the Ocean Palace? I see. The Queen is degenerated to that degree. The more energy the Mammon machine absorbs, the further the Queen degenerates. Degenerates, excuse me. She's a degenerate, though. Her spirit has been stolen by the famous, infamous immortal, Lavos. We must flee. The seal has been broken. The mountain will collapse. Although the mountain of woe is about to crumble. I mean, the mountain's gonna fall. So it floats up a bit, and then it falls down in. Whose bright idea was it to have a floating mountain, anyway? Like, what was the point? Lava sleeps deep underground while consuming the energy of this planet. If the Mammon machine is brought closer to him, he may awaken. We must hurry before it's too late. Elder, Shala is here. What? Shala is here? Yo, Shala, what up? Miss Shala. Or Miss Shala, why have you come to such a miserable place? Stop degrading yourselves. We enlightened ones were once the same as you. The only difference is that we are under Lavos's control. What a filthy hovel. Melchior, after the Mountain of Woe fell, I thought I would find you here. Is it safe for you to leave the palace? That no longer matters. The Ocean Palace is now operational. Then all is lost. But without me, the Mammon Machine won't work. I have turned my back on that evil device. I've kept the skyway open. Hurry! You must stop my mother! Why don't we keep it right there? This asshole. Dalton. Tisk tisk, my dear. Your presence is required elsewhere. Dalton, leave her alone. Ah, the geezer speaks. Silence, old man. Womp. Ugh! You'll come to the Ocean Palace with me. Do anything funny, and Shala's dust. Got it? Shala. Wamp. The Queen's children all seem to have a problem with authority, don't they? Stay back. The life of this woman means nothing to me. Shall we get going, Shala, dear? Your mother awaits. Mr. Melchior. I'm alright. But we must save Shala, or else... Possible, even though it's coming from you, Melchior. If the Queen is allowed to fulfill her scheme, all life as we know it is doomed. You're willing to challenge the Queen? Actually, no, it can't be OBS because oh, it would say it was an encoding overload. Shit. You've done so much for us, and I don't even know your names. That's okay. Someday, maybe, we'll need your help. What are you- what are you talking about? Chrono, let us hurry. Wait, take this with you. It's made from the same red stone as the Mem machine. What that you could destroy it. Got one ruby knife. 
You've done so much for us, and I don't even know your names. Shala's been abducted, but without sorcery, we can't do a thing. Is that an actual weapon, or is it just an item? Just an item. Ruby knife. to chase after Dalton. Please hurry for Shala's sake. It's likely that Dalton came here using the Skyway that Shala created. What lies beyond? So I like how they actually put the Mountain of Woe on the map. Like, you could see it now in the next to the Terra Cave. But you can't interact with it. Is Miss Shala alive? Sir Janice is headed toward the Skyway to save Mishala. Keep the Lumen Robe. Up we go. I don't believe there's anything new here. There's no hidden doors here or anything. Sealed doors are in the palace. God, going to and from this castle seems like such a pain in the ass. It's like, okay, we gotta go through the caves, we gotta teleport through like five rooms, gotta go around the edge. Shit, see? Fucked it up. The 
Mammon machine? You came to see it. Just as I thought. Unfortunately, it's been moved. The hall of the Mammon machine is beyond, but the power is gone. The Mammon machine was moved to the Ocean Palace to obtain the raw energy of Lavos. Shala's pendant was made from the same red rock as the Mammon machine. When she chants the pendant glow- Yeah, I knew this already. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. The Queen took Shala with her to the Ocean Palace. We enlightened ones will finally attain immortality. The Ocean Palace is complete. Zeal will rule forever. Fooey, why is the Prophet allowed inside while I'm stuck with guard duty? Ha, there you are. I let the Prophet go knowing he'd mess up sooner or later, but I have no use for you anymore. Your history. Oh, I gotta fight old Dalti now. Go ahead, try and attack. Oh, we actually have to, all right. Right, he does Iron Orb. Miss? Wow, and he still gets penalized for it. Cool. This fight's unlosable, because if that's his only move, he's just gonna... Darn! It's a very weird finishing move. N no I'm going to be immortal! I can't be beaten now! And then he fucks off. I, however, will go heal. Also, the sapling's gone now. Lavos beckons. Aw oh man, time for the coolest music in the game. Oh, there was a save point right here. The black energy grows! Something scary is waking up. Shala, raise the power of the lem Shala, raise the power of the mammon machine to its limit. 
Shala, you dare disobey me? Alright, mother. Oh, what blight splendor! The incredible power of Lavos. Ah. Uh. Why is this prophet so concerned with Shala? What's his deal, huh? Jin and Bargest. So you have to defeat the Bargest first to then fight the Jin. Starts using some uh, some magics. Oh, cool! Red Scout fights all magic but fire. Nice. Lock can't use techniques. Missed. Aeon Helm. Hmm. Yeah, she doesn't need to worry about that. Stop and slow aren't very common. suit. Ugh. It's the worst when you hit an enemy and they only take like 20, but to blow 100 damage. And it's just like, well, you're not supposed to do that to them. Kaiser arm. Yeah, this place is kind of maze-like. It makes kind of it makes getting around here a bit annoying. At least the beginning part.
That's still not enough to take that thing out. It must have around 300 HP. Do not know what that did. so we have the water coverage. Actually, yeah, no, throw Marl in there, because she doesn't have her Ice 2 yet, I think. I'm not sure. Sonic Arrow. That sounded like something for her, but... Oh, it's for Marl. Perfect. Oh, we got the Aeon suit, too. Now we're getting into the points where the, uh... The elemental resistance is going to get cancelled out by better equipment. Let's get rid of the Aeon suit. use techniques. Great. Delta Force. That's pretty neat. to do. Luminaire, ultimate damage on all enemies. It's a good technique. That's not the same room I was just in.
shockwave. Ooh, gun. Random chaos. That's the best kind of chaos. Oh, she does no fire too already. Cool. Oh, this is the other side of that room I was in before. Yeah, there's nothing over here, though. Or is there? Demon hit. Two times hit for magic. Oh, it's for frog. Sure, I'll give it that to him, and I'll just give him something different for here for now. Oh, third eye evades. It doesn't let you see the enemies. Uh... Power glove. Again, later the Masamune just becomes even better. So. There's no point in, uh, investing in other weapons for him long-term. Star Sword. Not it does the Swallow. The Swallow is just where it's at right now, and it gives you more speed, too. Shit. I need to go up. Yeah, cure two. I've gone around the whole thing now. Yep. One thing I haven't done is clear out all the enemies in here, but do I really want to? Is it really necessary? Let's get into one battle so that I can, uh... Oh, there's a chest over here, actually. Shit. Never mind. I should just look around. Also for frog? It is. 
Magic plus four. So I can either do twice as much damage to magic enemies or get more magic power. I would say getting the two times damage is probably way better. Very interesting that they give you two of his weapons in like the same area. Doesn't look like there's anything else here though. Oh wait, no. I'm supposed to use uh, the same color. Well, that sucks. You would think it's the opposite. Uh, uh-oh. I was gonna say, that, that might kill me. It's so weird that she gets another single target cure spell when her normal cure is so ridiculously powerful already. That fully healed everyone. She did. She does not need a cure two, but she does get life two, which is way better than uh, life one. I should probably put Ayla in my party. She definitely needs to start learning some new moves. She's the only one who's not at the second to last or last uh, ability yet. They tell you to come down here, and then they do the shit to you. Hey, come to the Ocean Palace, meet our demands. It's like, okay, is it an easy walk there? No, we've got tons of enemies all over the place. And it's like, well then why? This stupid shit. So yeah, they counter when you hit them. Not a lot of damage, though.
So how does that count for all? Do all four of them get an attack, or is it just... No, I get when they both they do it together, it counts as both of their turns. Or both of their counterattacks, rather. It's good shit. Oh, now not so much. And I gotta sit through another two of them. Oh, it does... It doesn't count as all of their turns. It's just that it's random if they do it or not. Alright, fuck it. Are we done yet? Ow. Ow! Alright. Ayla never attacked. Is this a line attack? Yeah, it is. First time I've ever done one of those, that's hit everyone. Oh, that's just an annoying ass damage thing. Shit, yeah. Let's see that move. The ancient red rock has been passed down through the ages. From it, a magic pendant and a knife were made. We embody Melchior's dreams, sealed within the knife. Now hurry if you plan on to fight. If you now hurry if you plan to confront the queen. We're counting on you. Ah, I can feel it. The pulse of eternal life. <laughs> D dark force. Wild energy. Uh -huh. <gasps> the the Memon machine. Your majesty, it's too dangerous. Bzz. Mother! Don't stop, Shala. We're almost there. Immortality will be ours. Zeal will have the glory it deserves. Zeal. Excuse me, not Zeal. Zeal. Zeal will have the glory it deserves. <laughs> Too long have I waited. It's definitely not the voice I did before. I forget how much of the temple there is left, and I was gonna stop in about 10 minutes, but I think I'll stop now, just because also dealing with the slowdown is 
frustrating and I don't want to do that. Uh, it just annoys me. So we will go up here. Save it. And maybe if I'm lucky, I'll work out whatever's causing the slowdown on the stream by next time. But probably not, because this computer's just not that great, I guess. Not anymore. Not after a year and a half of streaming. Do I want to host anyone before I go? And the answer is... Not really. I'll just let the auto-host take it over, because there's no one really at it right now. Anyway, I will stream tomorrow night, same time. Hopefully for a full three hours. If not, though, uh, whatever. You guys have a great evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.